bars and restaurants have tried getting around our state's smoking law before, but legalized marijuana has created a new opportunity for businesses and a new challenge for health departments. Come before us, John Humbert went inside a new private pot club to see if no smoke means no problem. It's a bar just like any other. It's going to be a great blues night. But Stonegate Pizza is unlike any other, too. And owner Jeff Call... And we're all making history right now. ...has heard every cliché. Stonegate, Stonegate, Stonergate. Upstairs at his pizza place, Call has created what appears to be the first private and legal marijuana club in the country. We sanitize everything. A dollar a day to join, 20 for the year, but that's not pot smoke. It's vapor. It's a lot easier on your lungs, um, and then there's fewer side effects. This is Nikki's first time here. She occasionally medicates, but finds the low-key club calming. I don't have to, like, run around the corner and try to, like, hide somewhere that could be, like, unsafe. But is any of this legal? Part of our job is to become more familiar with that. Frank DiBiase with the county health department says the key is the vaporization. Even though it is marijuana, which is completely legal under Initiative 502, there's no smoke. Technically, nothing is being burned. DiBiase says that means there are no issues with the Indoor Smoking Act. Any lighted material or any lighted smoking equipment is a violation of the law. It's not exactly a loophole, just uncharted waters. This is a great place. Call hopes he doesn't get shut down, and he actually wants to hire more workers and keep his one-of-a-kind bar unique. Uh, I'm not looking for battle. I don't want any... I got enough things going on here. It's tough enough to keep this going. While the owners expect scrutiny and likely regulations in the future, they say they're following the letter of the law. And for them, where there's vapor, there's business. In Tacoma, John Humber, Couple 4 News.